Greetings ladies and gents, my name is Chameleon and this is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Welcome back everyone. So last time we solved the murder of the uncle here in the Van de Griff crypt. And now we are going to continue. Now if, as you might know from my vlog I got a new graphics card. So I am really curious to see how the footage will look like and actually I'm a bit anxious because I'm really hoping it will live up to my expectation. So let's get into it. I noticed when we solved the murder that there was also a path uh, here to the left. So let's see if we can find it. Down the stairs we go. Wait, there was. I'm just going to go to the left. Here, there. See? Well, maybe it's not really a path, but... It, it goes deeper into the woods and I'm all for exploration. What is that? Like flags? Like orange flags or something? Let's just walk to it. Oh! People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Very well. See how the trees are oddly bent? Like a mirror thing going on. Is cheating truly unfair to others? Well, well, I don't know. I've never cheated, so I guess, Would yeah. Be a leaf or a root? I'd be a root. I want to be underground, stick my head in there, and just don't see anything. Do you feel there is vanity, charity? Maybe a little. Depends on the person. All these questions, man. What is? Betrayal caused by inequality or injustice. It is unjust to betray. Loyalty is very important to me. When you close your eyes, whose voice? Do my own. I hear my own voice all the time. Just talking to myself. I borrow it, maybe. I'm a good upstanding person. What kind of questions are you asking, woman? What is this? It's a tent. So I guess this is one of Ethan's stories again. Short one. There's a skull up there. Of a goat, maybe, or a sheep. Let's take a look. What is this? Can I... Come on, can I pick it up? Here we go. So... Yeah, I guess this is one of Ethan's stories again. Let's read it. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy. But the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged. Oh, but the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. That is so sad! Basically, this story is telling about a boy who isn't born and that a woman can only be happy if the woman, if the boy is not born from the woman. So, moral of the story, ladies, don't get children. It's bad for you. you get all these stretch marks and you grow a big belly. And you'll have to lump it around all day and then when you have the child, it will only make you sad because it's crying all day and then you start crying all day and then you are not beautiful anymore. Yeah. So that's a thing. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. I like living in my that's head. What people respond to. Reality. I'm talking to the void here. Nobody's talking back. So yeah, this is really telling something about Ethan because Ethan wrote this story for his mother, which is Missy. About that Missy is sad because she had Ethan. That's even more sad. So what is this? Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. 
I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? There's nothing wrong with having your head in the clouds a bit, a little bit of fantasy, especially for a young boy. Even so, so this is the... Yeah, see, it's just a normal tent. There's nothing going on here. So, where are we? Is that a church? Yeah, it's the church back there. So, we're gonna go back. There's nothing else here, I suspect. It's just a story scene. So, yeah, it's actually really sad that Ethan felt this way about his mother. And what is even more disturbing is that we just saw how his mother killed Ethan's uncle, who tried to break in Ethan. This makes no sense. So, Ethan crawled out of the crypt after poking the uncle's eye with the, uh, here, with the dagger, with the crow on it, over here. And he ran into this direction. And when we followed the story, we saw how Ethan was talking to the uncle. Uh, sorry, Ethan, I mean how Missy was talking to the brother, Travis. So Missy was talking to Travis. And back then, Ethan was back there in the crypt again with the father. And he was going to get into the mines. It should be this... This area with, with the gate. From last time. So I'm just gonna go head up there now. I think this was the way. So yeah, they were talking and then the boy wanted to go into the mines. But he didn't have the key and asked his dad for the key. Because he wants to do something about this sleeper problem. Who the rest of the family is trying to wake. And it seems that the grandfather and the father. So that were Ed was the grandfather. What do the dead have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. You already told me this. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Yeah, you already told that. That's weird. It's maybe because I had to reinstall the game and everything uh, around it. So the, the... Because, as you know, I've got a new hard disk. So I tried to implement the save from my previous hard disk to this one so that might be why he's repeating himself right now i don't know so the mine was there it is so there's the mine is it open now then well he didn't have the key but maybe ethan found a way in but no i mean why would ethan why would ethan even open the gate once he's inside right makes no sense so Ethan talked about a hidden tunnel he would use. So is there like like a crack in the rocks? Maybe he is? I cannot fit through there. No, never mind. It's not that. But there should be a hidden tunnel somewhere to get in the mines. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. Oh, it's right over there. It already says enter. Well, that makes it easy and convenient. Can I fit through there? Well, apparently I can. That's amazing. Okay, so now we're in the mines. It's the outside. The music completely went blank just now. Oh, uh, this this is the more creepy part of the game. I already know. <laughs> the the How do you call that? Um so, yeah, um, I think the best translation for this is mood. The mood of the atmosphere has changed. In Dutch we call it sphere. The sphere has changed. But if I know in English a sphere is something completely different. But in Dutch it's like the mood. The mood of the environment is what we call sphere. But it can also be the mood of the company. The sphere of the company is good. We call it a good sphere. Do I make sense to you at all? Probably not. So we got a lefty here and we got a righty here. Um, I'm gonna be a lefty. I write me with a right hand, but I am a lefty. Don't do that. Don't don't even go there. 
I know what you're thinking, just don't. Okay, so where are we now? What's this? Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. Maybe, maybe next time. I want to see where these tunnels... Well, this is a dead end. Well, okay then. Then, apparently, what is this? A big dark hole in the ground. No, thank you. So, that was the lefty. Let's take a righty. Mm -mm -mm. Well, actually, go straight through here. It's gonna run. Uh, that's also a dead end. Okay. So, I guess we need to take the elevator down the shaft. Probably. It's not that I'm afraid of heights or elevators, but... A place like this? No, thank you. Especially because you, once you go down and the gate closes, you can't really do anything. Like you're trapped. You have to submit to what is happening to you. If something happens with the elevator, well then that, that's just it. No, I'm also not claustrophobic. Look, there are all these holes. It's perfectly fine. You can see everything. No music. Long, deep mine shaft. Where the hell is this going? And why is it even here? It's like the mine of the... V oh, there we are. The mine of the Vandegrifts? Or something? Like... Maybe a... How do you say that? Like this is where the... It's like a gold mine where they got all their money. And that's why they're so rich. But then the house burned down or was... No. They already left before that. Maybe they left because of the sleeper. Because they knew there was a, the sleeper was in there and they were like, well, fuck this, I'm out. No way. And then the Carters moved in and Ethan vanished and they started killing each other and the sleeper woke up. I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out what the story is all about, what it means. If it means anything. So is this a dead end as well? Yep. And then is this a dead end as well? Yep. Now let's just go in here. I'm not going to run anymore in here. I'm 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 like waiting for something to pop out. Though it's a little it's a horror story driven game. There isn't much horror in it. It's like creepy. Okay, so we're in a big room now. There are some tracks over here. Seems like another elevator shaft. That's underwater. Well, that's not going to be of use then. Well, maybe you can take us up. What else do we have? Pickaxes. Inspect. There's one missing. Pickaxe rack. Indeed. Empty slot. That's what I said. Pickaxe. Okay. So, where is the pickaxe? There we go. Let's take a look. Complete utter darkness. But it should be moving around the object we're searching so maybe if we wait long enough we'll see something oh there we go oh there it is it's like in a hallway latched into the wall can we go to the right now it's just pitch black again okay so it's somewhere over there in a hole in the rocks so where's this going oh it's dark in here now it's just one of those dead ends again so, what else do we have? Let's see. What is this? Oh, that's the elevator. Okay, so can I... Up? Why up? Shouldn't it come down? It's moving up. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's... Oh! Is that? Yep. That's mommy. Hello, mommy. How are you? From the outside, lock, lock broken. Victim drowned. Post-mortem, anti-mortem. So, lock seems fine to me. It's not like snapped. Or do they mean like broken because it's bent? Oh right, so then you cannot open it anymore. So here we have the body. Nah, I haven't put anything into place yet. Okay, so mommy died. So, who killed mommy? And why? Travis is still alive right now, I think. This could have been Travis. 
I think, yeah, Chad must be dead right now. That was the uncle's name, I think, Chad. Could be the grandfather, could be the father. I don't know. So what else do we have? Let's so the pickaxe is probably over there. What is this? It's like a minecart. How fun. We can enter it. And so what is over here? No, it's a dead end. Okay. See, when it's light, I, I am not afraid to run. But otherwise... <laughs> okay. So... And wait. Oh, turn on. Turn on. Ooh. Got a flashlight. Oh, so maybe then we can see the pickaxe. But that is... Can I just ram through? I think I'm just going to try to ram through. So, all the way back. Yep. Okay. And forward. Chuka 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 Got it. Great. So... Now we go here. I want to go that way. I've already been here. Oh, really? Do I have to make... I have to make the round. Well, here to the left we see the beautiful black pillar in darkness. Which is just on the left of the beautiful mineshaft elevator with the dead body of Missy. Missy Carter. Missy was a beautiful woman in the pride of her days, but sadly had to succumb to the vanishing of the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I am going. Okay. I saw the... Uh, see? The dead thing. Um, to switch the um, locks, I presume. To switch track, anyway. I, I thought maybe I had to change it, but it's already fine. Oh, there it is. Great. Let's just stop. And get out. So we have the pickaxe. Which has been... So that's why there's no light. It's been set into the power. Um, it has been placed in the power... Power what? Cabinet? Box? The power box. Let's just call it a power box. So we've got the pickaxe. We have this big ass long tunnel. And this just is a dead end again. So let's just go back now. Let's place the pickaxe in the proper position. Because there wasn't anything else really missing, right? Maybe we have to place the cart in the proper position as well. Just like with the train of the first murder. But there's no hints of dried grass in a mine. I mean plants can grow down here I'm sure. Especially because of all the lights we have. But, yeah, we'll see. Let's just place the pickaxe. Pick, I cannot talk. Let's just place the pickaxe in the proper position. I'm learning. It's been a few days since I recorded. You have to understand, my English has been a bit faulty. Okay, so let's place the pickaxe. It already sounds like the sound like we've done it. Was that all we had to do? That was all we had to do. Okay, fine. So now we go to the scene game again. There we go. Hello, wonderful, beautiful lights. You are so pretty. There's one, two, three, four scenes. Let's take a look. This is with the pickaxe. So who is it? It's dad. Hello, daddy. Daddy has come to kill mommy. Maybe. So what is the pickaxe for? To lash it into the, the back or something? This is probably the first scene where they enter the mine. She's still alive over there, so... What else? Here, third and fourth scene. So then we have this one. It's daddy again. And... Daddy again. Oh, and this is also a scene. Okay. So... First this one. They enter the mine. And then, then I guess they walk to the shaft. Yeah, there's no pickaxe here yet. Do you have a pickaxe here? No. There's a pickaxe over there and a pickaxe over there. So maybe this is three then. Uh, then he grabs the pickaxe. Does that make sense? I would say this is number five. 
So he pushes the button and she dies. So it's they come in. She goes into the elevator. He grabs the pickaxe, walks over there, does something, I suppose, and then uses the pickaxe. Now uses the button and then she dies. Drowns or whatever. Let's, let's just take a look. Let's just see. Honey, he probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Okay, why so this is correct. He here? Shit. There's a sound. That was probably a raccoon. No. In the mines. No, I don't think it was. Mm. They're hunting for... Well, C is hunting for Ethan. He's just a kid. He didn't disturb anything. He just found a room in an old house. That's it. Oh, right. boy, is the price. I'm going up there. The sleeper must not sleep. So Missy wants to go up. But she needs... Oh, this is wrong. Oh, so that is what happened. That is why... This scene, you can see... That the father is pushing the up button and she wants to go up. So this is number three. Right. So they walk in, get in there, pushes the up button. He rethinks, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. He grabs the pickaxe, breaks the lock. I'm at a loss. Let's just continue. Ah, the father's name was Why Dale. Right, so we have Chad, Why the uncle, Dale, here? the father, Shit. Travis, the brother, Ed, the grandfather, room. and Missy, the mother, no, I don't think it was. and Ethan, the son. That's all the personas so far, I believe. He's just a kid. He didn't right, and Ethan dis disturbed a, a room in an old oh, house where the sleeper right. was. Well, maybe I'm not sleeping, but at least he was found. The now the family wants... Sleep. Exactly, the sleeper wants to be woken up by all these other people. And Ethan needs to be sacrificed he for can't that. Get away. It's the sleeper's time to awake. Missy, listen to yourself. Yeah, so this is correct. I see clearly. The sleeper breathes inside me. Oh, that's creepy. We all are. Dale, then he stops. What are you doing? So now he grabs the pickaxe. Right. Now he breaks the lock. Dale! Dale, what is this? I'm fixing something. That sounds awful. Dale, you miserable coward! Let me out! The sleeper demands to rise! Oh. The sleeper must wake up! The sleeper must wake up! The sleeper must... Oh, man. We were talking about fears previously. Fear of drowning. That is a fear of mine. That sounds absolutely terrible. Oh. So, Dale drowned Missy. Am I? Oh, I, I can move. Dale drowned Missy to fix her. Fix her madness. <sighs> Where? I thought I heard her voice. She's, right. Um, still looking for you. Y you need to leave. Go through there. Through that water? It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it's Water? just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Mom! Mom! Where? Oh, that's Travis. I'll deal with it's your brothers. Yeah, Go. exactly. Now. But Travis was killed by Ed. So Travis was actually the last murder then, maybe? He didn't kill his wife. Yes, she, she was no longer who she once mm. was. True. Neither was he. Something was using all this pain and death. Something was becoming stronger. Well, that seems clear. Let's just take the tar yeah, let's take the cart again. The chuk chuk train. Woohoo! Or something. That's not actually the sound these things make, it's only locomotives with steam power that make these things. Here we go. So now just get out of the mine. Let's just drive out. 
forward. So this was the... Are there more tunnel? There's another tunnel here to the left. Okay, let's just stop for a moment. Let's get out. There we go. It's little tiny animations of getting on and off cards. Actually quite funny. So let's see. You know shit is going down when the light flickers. When it is doing crazy shit like this, you know you're fucked. But that's going to be seen in the next episode. Because I think it will be... It's, this is a shorter episode than before, but I don't know what's down here yet. But I think it will be quite a beautiful extension and I'd love to leave you guys hanging on a cliffhanger. So, if you liked the video up until now, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next episode.